Let's talk more on big things in the upcoming GTA 6 game. A new theory about relationship between Lucia and Jason and more into a story mode after a leaked script we got. More into NPC recorded text talks, how will it affect your gameplay? And also, the nightlife in GTA 6, we had it in Vice City, will it be same in 6? Let's see, and as always, don't forget to subscribe, it motivates me to update you more on a daily basis with GTA 6 related content. Thank you, let's start. Starting off with breaking news, possible new leaked image of GTA 6 has been found, the building match with the, w the one seen in the trailer, this could be a real one. I don't know about this one, because it looks like a flying simulator to be honest if we look at this one, but yeah, the buildings look alike as we had, but I feel like this flying simulator has a possibly the same beach as we're looking on this one. So let's have a look at the comments, what do we have there? Blood is showing Microsoft Flight Sim footage, and that's what I'm saying, it actually looks like the flight simulator footage. This is the realest shit ever, observe and be amazed. Yeah, I feel like this guy is just lying and this one is just the flying simulator. And he lied before with his second upcoming trailer and this time he's showing, like he's playing the flying simulator in his uh, Xbox or PlayStation, I don't know, but he's just doing the really bad quality picture and trying to perceive people that is actually the GTA 6 re related screenshot, but it is actually the flying simulator. Next up is a Rockstar employee in Fortune just like this. He says it's the GD6 map. I don't know if it's true, but it seems very legit to me. Yeah, it seems very legit to me. This is the proof uh, right there. And here we could see this guy Jason, an agent actually, commenting on this one. It's probably just one guy who just tries to hype up his accounts and make them grow. As he says, the Venetia Islands from the trailer are here, this might be legit. Yeah, this one is fake as well, so you can find out and understand that. The next screenshot is, can't wait to fly a plane through building 3. And here we could see the GT6 buildings and now we are looking into the Miami building. So basically, yeah, we are looking into more and I feel like a lot of people will be doing this They will be flying their plane through this building and yeah, I feel like it will be a lot of memes related to this thing Next up is following up the leaked image I posted earlier Here are some new leaked screenshots of GTA 6 and here this guy agent again so I told you the previous one over here we already discussed on the previous video as well as we already talked about it a week ago, this one is fake. And the first one of course, if this this if this is the same guy right there, uh, this one is obviously fake as well, so yeah, I don't even want to look at it. Next up, what do you think? So I have a theory now, I'm playing a GTA 4 ballad of Gay Tawny DLC, and what if Lucy is related to Luis Lopez, we already discussed this one before in the previous video as well, as we saw their official Instagram accounts, and Luis Lopez actually was following her before, and she was following him, and now they're both not following each other, as it's probably Rockstar related stuff. In the fandom Wikipedia, he has an unnamed niece, I guess that's Lucia Lopez, even the voice actor's last name is Lopez, she may be related to Luis and I think we can see him in GTA 6 as a cameo or a mission giver, and basically the actor who actually played the Luis Lopez was following uh, uh, Manny El, uh, El Paris, who is actually called Lopez in some stuff, uh, some just GTA 6 related uh, information. So basically, we could understand that they are related somehow. Next up, yes, here is why NPC recorded TikToks aren't as far fetched as you think. A common speculation point I see on this subreddit is the potential for NPC recorded TikToks for the game's social media that was teased in the trailer, like someone filming you commit a crime and you later seeing that the post online. Many have dismissed this as far-fetched in terms of development complexity, but I wanted to discuss, uh, to discuss why it's plausible. Firstly, I think we've already seen a system that could have served as a base for building a TikTok-like system, the Instant Replay Rockstar Editor from GTA 5. 
given this game is more of a sandbox with physics rather than a competitive shooter, where replay systems are typically seen. It's even more impressive to consider this system in the GTA 5, and it is actually accurately records and replays events just as they happened, with every car, ragdoll, etc. moving just as it did originally in the moment. The hatch behind this isn't actually recording like a camera and replaying, it's really just recreating it. Which again makes it impressive how much time Rockstar put into it making it accurate. To me this feels like what could be used as a base for a system where NPCs record their own videos from their perspective. As this next thing is something I could have sworn I remember hearing long, long ago, but can't seem to find. And I was hoping someone on here remembers too. Back from before the GTA 5's launch, there were details revealed through the various interviews, magazines, etc. And I remember hearing reading something about being able to watch your own crimes on Weasel News on the TV. This obviously didn't end up in the game, but there is a slight remnant of it in the GTA Online. And I'm only one who remembers this being mentioned for single player though. Maybe my mind is playing tricks on me. Anyways, this last point is actually from the trailer, the 33 mark. In this scene we see a lot of NPCs hanging out on a busy street and one NPC in particular recording on his phone as we know Rockstar's trailer are always all in engine, no CGI cinematics. So I think it's worth noting that it looks like as if his screen is accurately showing what he's looking at and my screenshot is zoomed in but if you go that mark on a trailer you can see it matches up to what's he looking up at. So could this be a hint towards the set system or just a nice detail? And the last one as well, the Anita is going to be the first GTA location where there's free roam NPCs that act just as crazy as the player in the perfect location for the GTA 6 and integrating social media into it so that it's the cohesive experience of Wild State where everyone's filming each other do crazy stuff, including the players feels like what the trailer is trying to convey. Curious to hear people's thoughts and if they have any evidence of their own and I feel the TikToks are actually so prevail uh, prevalent in a trailer that it's clear that they aren't just some camera filter choice for the trailer alone. Rockstar knows we will take every scene they present to us literally and it's the way they've always done things. This system would truly be unlike any scene we've had in any game before, but hey, if someone were to do it, it would be Rockstar. Hopefully we can get more nightlife in GTA 6. I love the dancing minigames in TBO GT and San Andreas. I honestly think for a game like GTA 6 it could improve clubs and nightlife from what we saw in the trailer. Uh, and it looks like clubbing will play a big role. I also saw in the leaks that we will be doing missions out of a strip club. Does anyone think since GTA 6 is based in YCD they will add more nightlife? And I also would love the ability to order different drinks at a bar and request our favorite songs for the DJ to play. Uh, if GTA 6 is coming out spring 2025, the promotional lengths will be shorter than GTA 5's. So GTA 5's first trailer came out in November 2011 and the game came out nearly two years later, September 13. Assuming GTA 6 comes out March 2025, this means this promotional length from first trailer to release will only be 15 months, from December 23rd to March 25. Do you think fiscal year honestly has anything to do with the GTA 6 or no? Not really. Maybe they make money of pre-sale or the pre-orders or is there something missing I'm curious cause in the trailer they didn't specify anything and don't tie into fiscal year which is early 2025. So what does fiscal year earnings come from and if the game is coming early in that time frame I think still have a year from now to tweak things and polish and edit the game and also a year of promotional advertisements 2024-2023. Should be a blast off year and it should be that quiet and that wouldn't nicely tie into my prediction for March 18th, 25. Release on Tuesday. Like the other GTA games that also release at the back end of the month, the last two weeks. A theory about the Lucius and Jason's relationship. I've been wondering if the story could go so that Lucy is a criminal already and at the beginning of the game, Jason on the other hand is basic car repairman. 
from whom Lucia needs help. Jason falls in love with Lucia and Lucia notices this and uses the love to lure the multi-talented Jason into his criminal sidekick. Jason would follow Lucia blindly and at some point in the game Lucia ends up in prison and Jason, who loves Lucia, passionately saves her from prison as Lucia also falls in love with Jason after this. However, Jason finds out that Lucia has only taken advantage of him in the beginning. That's how Lucia and Jason would end up facing each other in the end. However, they are able to come to an agreement and at the end of the game are loving a couple. So maybe some tragic event will cause uh, one of them to die at the end of the game. What do you think? Could this be a possible story in GTA 6? The presence of the ankle monitors in grows out of a plotline of Lucia breaking out of a prison being broken out. I do think there is enough evidence already to support the theory that Jason isn't exactly a hardened criminal, although the what he is if he is not already a criminal if anyone's guess. Since he looks like the wheelman, my personal speculation is that he has a normal 5 to 9 that involves cars in some way, maybe involved with the Port Calhoun race track, since there is evidence the early game is situated around there. So that's kind of all the information we got on today's video and if you are interested in more stuff don't forget to subscribe, like and share. See you in the next one and peace.